Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. As promised, I am rebuilding my Vertex Arc 60 plateless. So, welcome to Arigato Roboto, Comrade Questions, and Tataimo. Thank you guys for joining in so early. So, if you guys remember, I built this guy last year, last year in 2022, and I built it with an aluminum plate and the go camping switches topped with. Um, nice pbt november fog and i absolutely loved this board loved how it sounded loved how it felt and i was originally planning on doing another go camping switch purchase but i try not to have too much of the same switch on every board so this time around i'll be building the plateless version with jwk oolongs means i have to use the soldered pcb unfortunately as the soldered PCB actually has tabs where you put the gaskets on. As you guys can see, I've already put on some of the gaskets. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them to put on, but I've also got my Allab stabs on as well. There we go. You guys see those gaskets on the top and, and on the bottom? Yep, it's been a while since I've just done a plateless soldered build, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right, I think I have all of them soldered in. Yes, I do. All right, let me give it a quick scrub. Does it ever need a foam kit? Yeah, I'm not building this with foam, to be honest. Like, I had such great success with, with the plated version without the use of any foam. I'm gonna replicate that here. Gasket time. I already have like part of the gaskets installed, so it shouldn't take too long. Restock of November fog. Pretty sure they will. And all my solder joints look look decent. All of them are in place. Good, 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 good. Well, let's put this together. Let's 
But yeah, who knows? Maybe in the future I'll go find a job like that. Maybe there's like some um, non-profit keyboard company. <laughs> you know? Keyboards for everyone, something like that, and I'll pro and I'll promote QMK usage for all the world. Okay. Oh yeah, I have to put gaskets on. That's what we're missing. We still need to put gaskets. Here, just six gaskets left to put on. Keyboards without borders. What would that be? That would be a. Low profile boards, right? <laughs> Let's see. Fitless is embarrassed to say I totally missed hearing what board you're building. We are building the plateless version of the Arc 60. So yeah, this Saturday on the 14th, this board is coming back on sale for R2 on the 14th for 269 bucks. You have a very nice, or actually sometimes 275 depending on, on the color that you choose you get to have a very nice 60%. And what's unique about this is it provides you two PCBs, one for one that's hot swap for the plated variant and one that's soldered like we're building tonight for the plateless variant. So yeah, so today we are building the plateless variant just because when the board first came out, I wanted to do the plated one. So yeah, and also it's not gonna be a quick swap in, swap, swap out. You do have to remove a few other things, which is why, as you guys can see, you have to put gaskets on the PCB. A little bit different build, but you, you guys will see as I build it. Oh, quick question for the audience. Um, have any of you seen the new avatar? And if so, is it worth three and a half hours of my life or, or however long it takes? So a friend of mine invited me to watch it next week and I'm like, three and a half hours? Like, I would do this for Lord of the Rings stuff, but Avatar, I'm not, not quite sure. I did watch the first one, but I might have been too young to really remember if it was any good. You've seen it and you did enjoy it. I didn't thoroughly watch the first one, don't murder me. I hate Avatar, so I'm the worst person to ask. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so Avatar in 3D. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you're you're one of the many people who said to watch it in like 3D. So I think that's exactly what I'll do. All right, I have all the gaskets in place. With four to spare, look at that. Okay, like I said earlier, we will do a quick typing test of the original build first so that we have something to compare to, and then we'll swap it out. So here, let me turn off my music really quick. And we'll just do a quick 50 word typing test of sorts. There you go, like this, typings.gg stuff. So here we go, let's do a quick typing test. There we go. Sounds very, very good. So I kind of have high hopes for the plateless version. Hopefully it sounds just as good. Otherwise I'm gonna be disappointed. Time to take the board apart. And oh yeah, when you buy this board, it comes with a nifty little tool. It's really just one screw for every single, uh, one, one uh, screwdriver for every single screw on the board. And of course, I've forgotten how to take it apart because it is a seamless design. So you have certain keys that you have to remove first in order to take out, in order to take it apart. Let's see. Need to remove four to five and one and two. Ooh, okay. One, two, four, five. 
and control and shift. Okay, perfect. All right, that looks to be it. Right, I think I've got all of that off. Ta da! Okay. Now let's remove this guy. Oops. There goes the O. Here we go. Yay! Got it out. Okay, so I have to remove the center piece as well, the center weight. Let me put these screws away so I don't lose them. Let's see, hey Merlin, how's it going? It's going really well, thanks for asking. I'm in the middle of building my arc. My Vertex Arc 60 is a plateless variant. Okay, so what, 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 what do we do next here? Let's see, I think it was Itharok or something who said that I have to put it to the top. Is that really what we have to do? Helicopter is so excited. So that's how it came off. Thank God for magnetic screws. All right, we got it, guys. Let's see, Leo says, what's up, Merlin? What's up to you, too? Yay, okay. Let me just put the rest of these keycaps away into our original build. And we can put the rest of the keycaps on. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, one more key. Actually. 
Yeah, before I put the rest of the keycaps on, I should probably test the board first, right? <laughs> Make sure I did my soldering correct. Yay, detected, perfect. Ah, uh, crap, I need to, hold on. I need another board to test it first. <laughs> Here we go. So I don't need to find another cable. Okay, actually Sesame said that this was already in Via. Let's do this. Okay, Via is not responding. That's very odd. Okay, I do have the latest version. Looks, see, I wonder if the online Via makes, makes any difference. The last time I did this board, I had a bunch of issues with it as well. So we'll see. We'll see how things go here. Online Via, okay. Looks like it's working out here. I want, yep. Let's do settings, key tester. Actually, wait, let's do test matrix. Configure layouts. Let's do split right shift. There we go. Oh, does that mimic it here? Yes, it does. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent, it works. We can put some keycaps on now. All right. don't know which one's the control key. Botanical would be much better. If only I had botanical. There we go. And you know what? I think that really is it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I thought about putting Kaiju on it as well, but I I really wanted to stick with PBT, especially since, you know, since my previous build was PBT. Okay. Let's do a quick typing test after we turn off my sound. There we go. Okay, um, I'm gonna say that I still like the plated option better in terms of sound and feel, but that that's not to say that this is bad. If we went back in time, if this was the first build that I built for this board, I would have said the exact same thing, that this is amazing, this is wonderful, this is like probably my favorite 60%. I would have said those exact same things. It just so happens that I prefer the plated more than the plate less in sound and in feel. Okay? Let's see, first time chat from Rafael says Voynich though. No, yeah, I like Voynich. You are a hard man to please at the rock. Well, 
I didn't say I didn't like it. I think this is great. This this is a great sound. It feels great, sounds great. I just prefer the plated, you know? It's like... <laughs> Do you like yellow or blue? <laughs> it's not like any color has intrinsic value, right? <laughs> Yeah, th this is a great sound. I am just as impressed, okay? Like, as I said earlier, if this is the version that I built last year, I would have said the exact same things as I did about the platelet, ab about the plated build. Sounds like Lego, yeah. Is it the best platelet you typed on, says Itharok? Huh. You know, I don't type on that many platelet builds. Let's see, what's the... You know what? I think I can actually pull them out. Are they accessible? No, they're not accessible, but I think the the only remaining plateless builds that I have are my 7V and my Thera. But yeah, I think it's it's comparable. Without being able to pull it out, I'm going to say that that it's comparable. You prefer the W180? That is not a board that I have because it is more bouncy, but I love the Arc 60. Yeah, in terms of feel, it's definitely st stiffer than I would imagine from a plateless build, so that's good. Yeah, there's not that much flex, to be honest. Unless, of course, you push down. You love the Arc 60? Oh, listen to that. You know what? I'm gonna say it might be a little too clacky for me. So I might refine it by using ABS keycaps. See, maybe that's what I'll put GMK Kaiju on. Yeah. See, Devil Trigger says, what would you rate the ARC-60? I don't really rate boards. Like, I don't give them like a, a number. So even if I gave you a number today, it wouldn't make much sense because I haven't rated any other board. <laughs> But here, let me try pulling out GMK Kaiju. My last, actually, if not Kaiju, then maybe... Here we go. Oh. Green set. Man, that's still not the right shade of green, huh? Great, okay. Shoots. Man, that's still not the right green. Okay, let me look for another green set. There we go. Kaiju. Here, let me turn on background music again while we're figuring this out. Kaiju. Um, I think that's a closer match than Royal Alpha, actually. Let's see. Anything else? Um, you know what? I just thought of the perfect set for this, guys. The perfect set for this. <laughs> oh my gosh. The other rock says, I am O. Flash says, yes. x Rock says, GMK camping. Yeah, GMK camping would be good, actually. Yeah. Young X95 says, currently using Blade 60. Oh yeah. I, I defi definitely still have mine. Okay. Perfect match, right? <laughs> okay. Hard to, hard to decide, but definitely Royal Alpha is out. Royal Alpha is out. That green is a little too bright. Here, I'll let you guys decide. How about that? I'll let you guys decide. Let's do a... Let's do a poll. What key set should I use? GMK Kaiju or GMK Hander Bait? And we'll run it for two minutes. There we go. Please vote. Please vote. Kaiju, Kaiju. Well, we'll see. We'll see what people say. Wow, it's uh. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting right now. So yeah, once again, that's GMK Handerbait or GMK Kaiju. 
And the reason why I'm switching is, number one, I'm not too happy with the color matching of Voynich and Aloe. And also, it's a little bit too high-pitched for my taste. Like, I still like it, but I just know that I'm going to have, like, some ear fatigue if I type on this for an extended amount of time. So I'm going to try and lessen it by putting ABS keycaps on. So these are the two keycap choices. The got Dracula on yours right now. What color is yours? Arcane, probably. All right. It's like the last 10 seconds of the poll, guys. And so far, it's an even split. <laughs> Someone break it. Someone break it. Three, two, one, zero. And Hander Bait. Hander Bait is the winner. <laughs> By one, actually. Not, not too much. Not too much. <laughs> all right, let's take off all these keycaps first. So like um, back in like August or something when I started like my weight loss journey, I bought like some running shoes that were like $160 and I was like, oh, okay, I don't want to wear them out very quick. <laughs> so I've been like super careful with them. But then I realized that I'm like, I bought these to run, right? So that I could lose some weight. But because I, I'm trying not to damage them, I'm not running in them. So I was like, screw that, screw that. I'm gonna run. <laughs> All right, put on GMK Hander 8. All right, Let's see, does that match? <laughs> All right. Yep, that is definitely better. Better sounding to me because it's not as high pitched anymore. Okay, I like that. All right, let's do another typing test. Please disregard the PBT cherry profiles on the corner. There we go. Definitely sounds better than the previous build, but I'm gonna say that I still prefer my plated build. I still prefer this over that. Yeah, this of course doesn't sound anything like it did earlier. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna probably the next few days or so, I will do a official typing sounds of this. Nope. And then I'll post it up on YouTube then I will definitely swap it out to the plated build again. Let it be known that Matt Rose is a plateless. I, I am not a hater. I just prefer the, the plated version. In fact, I have two boards that are plateless. 
So you think plated builds sounding and feeling better? Um, the way that I built mine definitely sounded and felt better to me. And if you remember, this was an aluminum with the go camping switches and with nice PBT November fog. So yeah, I really wish I probably, like, I wish that I would have had the foresight to just buy the go camping switches so that we would have an exact switch to switch comparison and I could have even put like the same keycaps on it. The Go Camping switches are a very different switch compared with the JWK Oolong. So it could just be that maybe I don't like JWK Oolongs on the plateless build. But yeah, when the time comes, I will swap this back out. Swap this back out. And earlier someone, someone was saying, Oh Merlin, how could you use 6.25U? I'm going to show you guys how I can use it. Here. Because of my particular key map, here, let me show you how I do my key map. Okay, so I prefer standard layout with split right shift because this is what I do. I like to go to the second layer over here and I make these my arrow keys. So up, down, left, and right. See, this is my right shift, GUI, control, and alt, right? Actually, let me swap this around to M01. And right alt, right win, and right control. There we go. And then I change this key for the split right shift into a toggle key. Let's see where it's TG, TG2. There we go. So, so what happens here is this. Right, this is what happens. Right now, it's a right shift, code, control, and alt. I press my function key here, or my toggle key. It's now a up key, down key, left key, and right key. Right, I press it again, it's back to right shift, code, control, and alt. I think that's a good place to end this stream. But yeah, once again, this is a board that is going on sale for the second time this coming Saturday on the 14th for up to $275 based on the color that you choose. This is going to be an in-stock sale. And similar to how I showed it off tonight, the board will come in both a PCB for your plateless options and also a hot swap PCB for your plated options. So two builds in one, all for the price of $275 in stock and my opinion is both builds sound great you know but you will definitely prefer one over the other in my case with my specific builds i preferred the plated option but who knows you might be like itherock here who likes the 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 plateless version so yeah make sure you check it out and hope you guys get get the ones that you want um, I was told that the first one to, to like sell out was the Arcane. That's the purple run right there. That was the first one to sell out. The second one to sell out, this is like R1, was the Aloe, the one that I have right now. So yeah, if you want any of these colors, definitely do not hesitate to buy this coming Saturday. Alright guys, thanks for joining in. My next stream is... I will not have another stream this week because I'll be in Arizona for the Arizona meetup. But the next stream will be next Wednesday. I'll be doing another keyboard build to find out what it is. You guys are going to have to tune in. Mainly because I don't know yet either. I don't know if my customer's board will make it on time. And if my customer's board doesn't make it on time, then I don't know what I'll be building. But yeah, good luck everyone. Have a good rest of your week. And I will see you when I see you. Goodbye, everyone.